gave me my first camera. He'd lead me down the streets as if he was showing me Australia for the first time. Is Papu living in outer space with God? Papu's in heaven. It's only Jews and Muslims that go to hell. You've never been to Greece before. I came here to put my dad to rest. I suppose a lot of us in Australia feel like we come from somewhere else. So what is Dead Europe, for people who don't know? Yeah, it's the story of a Greek-Australian guy who uh, travels to Athens, a photographer. He has an exhibition on. And he starts to hear sort of whispers about a curse that um, his family has. And the more he sort of investigates it and goes into it, I suppose he kind of enters in sort of a downward spiral. But the, the film takes you to places in Europe that you don't normally see on screen. And, um, you know, it was wonderful to shoot in these places that you wouldn't normally go as a tourist. My dad apparently had some kind of curse. Basically, um, I'd worked with Tony once before and on a film called Jew Boy and I really wanted to work with him again. And um, the script it was just like really challenging, you know, and I read it and kind of thought, well, this kind of terrifies me. And I, th that's always kind of a good reason to do something, I think. And um, yeah, yeah, it just, uh, it seemed, you know, it was, it was a role that was so different from me as well. Sure. Which you're kind of always looking for and yeah, yeah was really excited by it. And how do you create the character? How did, how did you... Look, a lot of it was just talking to Tony and stuff that he wanted to do. I mean, Tony, kind of very early on, because we'd worked together before and because we were friends, he kind of said, look, there are certain things, you know, he kind of said, was able to very easily uh, differentiate the character from me. He kind of said, look, you're like this, and, you know, there are things about you that are like this, and this guy's not like that at all. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that was a really helpful conversation to have early on. And one of the first things he said was, this guy doesn't say sorry, he just changes the subject. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of a good kind of clue into him, you know. I don't trust what I see now. It scares me. There's this boy everywhere I go, there he is. That's because he is everywhere. Look, I love, I mean, theater's great because it's immediate and you're getting that instant sort of, you know, the energy that's kind of going between audience and, you know, the actors, but I also love the process of film. Like I love being on a set and I love shooting things and doing it a whole bunch of different ways and you try and give as many options as you can. And then, you know, people take it away and they work on it for a year or however long and you kind of get to see the finished product down the track. Like I, I really like that process. I don't know what's happening to me. Isaac, come home. You can't help the past now. It does, please.